You know, I was just a young kid who was given a chance to play on the Dominican national team. You're on the same court with these players that you were just watching before the NBA season ended. All of a sudden, you realize that you have to go up and compete against them. Dominican heritage from my mother has really embodied who I am, and playing for the Dominican national team at the age of 15 was a huge honor. First time I met Al Horford, I was just inspired more to make it to his level. The biggest thing Al always told me on the court was just never to take a day off, always go to your full potential. Him seeing himself, I think, a little bit in me really gave him that connection that we needed to really build a great bond. You can tell he was just a kid, but I just, you know, genuinely wanted to help him in any way that I could. I started finding my groove as a basketball player. I started realizing that I could possibly have a future in playing this sport. When you have someone who is with you every step of the way and is trying to help you and guide you to the right direction, it just it makes life much easier, but also makes life more fun. Me and Al Horford really became friends. His character is just full of humility, just being nice, and just also being eager to learn and accept new people. Mentoring is vitally important in society, not just in, in basketball. Mentoring allows us to steer kids into the right direction. You're just trying to transmit confidence into them. You want to make them feel good and hopefully for them to be mentors of other people and be leaders as well. It could have been so easy for me as it was for a lot of my friends growing up and just making the wrong turn. I was fortunate enough to have some great mentors and my parents, my sister. Al Horford, KG, it's really shaped me. I think it's very easy to make an impact. Making a change in society just requires a little bit of your time, and in real life, it means the world.